Our family name, once so well regarded, is now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. Hello, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. So last time, we went and met the Necromancer's Apprentice, and upon rewatching, I guess that your grandfather is the Necromancer, so that guy's his apprentice. It's kind of neat. Anyway, um, I am not going to go back there yet, because that was pretty hairy. I think I figured out how to go about doing it, but I want to test a couple things out first. So first things first, I'm going to actually upgrade this guy. A sharper sword, a stronger shield, anything to prolong a soldier's life. Because I need some better weaponry. So this goes 6 to 12, 7 to 13. It's got a 1, it's 1 upgrade. It's not great. It might help though. And the important thing is, I can do this with all my characters. So... Let me see, I'm gonna... How's Bertrand look? <laughs> you upgrade his skull with a candle on top. Hmm, do, 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 5 to 8. I mean, it really doesn't matter for him because a lot of his stuff is sort of debuffing and healing. How about Voison? Mm, that's not bad either, although it looks like it increases his speed. Sure, I'll upgrade him. And Burton. Crit goes up. As does damage, so I'll do that. So I gotta go make some money back. Not going in there. What's this? Activate three corrupted altars. Just explore 90% of rooms, and that's really hard. So I think I should actually go. No. No. Is this really the only easy one? These two? <sighs> Well, killing the Necromancer's Apprentice is going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, I guess I can do it, though. So, Gombolt, Voisin, Bertrand goes in the back. And how do you like... I guess you can go there. No, that's... So you're going to have Pistol Shot, Wicked Slice. How about you? Lunge, Flashing Daggers... This is in the front to pick to the face. Actually, you might work best because you actually do get a bonus to that. In that case, maybe I should go back. I'm just going to upgrade her really quick. Can I? Oh, I see. I actually need to upgrade the heroes as well. Huh. Well, all right then. I need to get her upgraded a bit. And no, you can stay. You can stay here. I don't need your particular set of skills right now. I need Bertrand because I believe you do not have the pull. Okay. Uh, back again. Go to the guild. Uh, Damon's pole, 800. I can afford that. Okay, so... There we go. Just go away, Ronald. You're not in this fight. So Bertrand goes there. Gumbold goes there. Voisin goes there. Voisin goes there. And Mercier goes there. Now, what I learned last time is that I need a lot of food, so... There. And... That many torches. Grab one of these. Grab one of those. Okay, so I've got to hope this pays off or else I am screwed. Alright, so... Combat plan is... Once I get to the Necromancer, who I assume is probably in here. So I'm not sure if I want to go straight to him or actually try and clear out the rest of these rooms. But I should have enough supplies to cover it. Okay, these are just weapons. That's fine then.
Okay, now my assumption is those marks work with specific characters who actually have that ability. Oh, this is cool. I actually deal damage in addition to moving her back one. So... Do, 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 do. I'll just hex this one, because why not? And I'll hex that one. Nope. Anyway, this hex... If I remember correctly, the... Um, Bounty Hunter had an ability that allowed him to deal more damage to marked targets. So I think that's actually what it would do. If I had a marked target, it would allow me to deal like 100% more damage or something ridiculous like that. So I'll have to try it out next time I get a, a uh, Bounty Hunter. So, Press this let's kill that one. Give them no quarter. That's pretty useful, though. Confidence Just being able to readjust my allies while still doing damage. Cursed Incense. Negatol percent max HP. 15% chance to bleed skills. 15% chance to stun skills. I don't have any stun skills. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have any stun skills. Does he even, like, learn any? Weakening. Stun base. Hands from the Abyss. But this one... Does that actually... There's nothing here that deals bleed, I don't think, besides this. But that's something I don't want my bleed chance to go up on. I'll just keep that around. It might be useful. Nice. Hmm. So I'm probably going to want to go down. Let's see here. Yeah, um... This one's got a treasure room, which means... I don't know. I've got to fight through both of those rooms eventually, I think. So maybe I should just go this way and deal with them early on. That way I can get down here, and if I need it, I can rest up without wasting too much time. So I'll give it a shot, and then I should probably eat a torch before I enter that room, too. Aha! Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing. Did I not use my shovel? I didn't use my goddamn shovel. Fuck. Okay, well that was dumb. Ah, more of these fellows. Lovely. Alright, Voison. You're gonna take out these two. Executed with impunity. Nice. Ha! Ah, fuck you. Now you want Eldritch pull me? I'll Eldritch pull you. Provided I can take her out before Ren for the Old Gods moves him back. No, they only move him forward one? No, oh, well, alright then. I'll take that. He's got a lot of stress on him, though. That's not great. Uh, let's see, 26. And evens out. Although that is 3 damage per round, which is not fantastic. That's also not fantastic. Well strong. Mm, yeah. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. This expedition at least promises success. So what do we got here? Hmm, that's a big treasure room, but it's going to have some big guys in it. It's worth a shot, I think. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Whew, that's gonna be rough. Two more of those rooms? Alright. Oh, great. He's got rabies? What the hell does that do? 
Negative 10 accuracy plus 20% damage. That's not bad, although it does mean he's practically never going to hit. And I forgot about the trap. That was dumb. Uh, here, you eat something. Alright. Gonna bump my light up. Here's nothing. Is that really it? Well, at least these guys are nothing to worry about, really. A singular strike. Nice. Come on. Eh, whatever. Nah, I should have figured that. Well, that's those two out. Which is always nice. That didn't kill him? Man. Well, whatever. Good, good, good. Actually, I wonder if upgrading his thing would have increased his heal from 0 to 1. Because that actually would have been really useful. Well, we'll find out eventually, I suppose. Doo -doo -doo. These nightmarish creatures can be Plus ten percent bleed resist, beat. minus one crit. It's not terrible. So I guess I'll give it to you. Nice. Alright, now what's over here? An empty room? Uh, probably not worth checking out then. Especially if there's a trap right there. And I guess down here and then over there. Hmm. I'm loaded up on stuff, but could be worse. Eh, well, whatever. Ancient traps lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Okay. Um, let me use that torch up. This is a fight right here, apparently, did not see. Mm, I hate these guys. I hate these guys so much. But you know what? Not an issue. Because I know how to deal with them. Mostly. Oh, his buff went away? That's not good. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, I was wondering when that was going to be done. That guy's got giant range for a melee character. Okay, so how do I deal with him? I guess I just try and out-damage him. Uh, if I do this, I can lower his dodge, and she should probably have to be healed first. That's not fantastic. I can probably kill him on this round, provided I get all my hits in. Not that this guy's helping with his rabies. Yeah, he's almost dead. I should probably get him to self-heal or something. But, whatever, I can just do that too. Really? One more damage. You couldn't just deal one more damage. Oh, well, whatever, that works. The sharpened blade. Sh sure. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay. No, I'm gonna just have you eat something really quick, because you're not looking too fancy. Six, fourteen, eleven. Yeah, uh, she's getting healed next. 
Eh, could be worse. So, probably a fight in this room. Torch up. Head through. Yep, called it. Eh, of course. Well, at least she's not bleeding. Now she's bleeding, but at least she's healed. Right, I gotta kill that guy. Forgot about him. Well, first she's healed. That's the important thing here. Be gone. And Be now they're killed, so it's fine. 7 4. Um, okay, this guy's fine, probably. Nah. Bone Courtier is dead, so that's a okay. The Bone Arbalist is dead. Whew, 27. Okay then. A trifling victory. I will take all of that. A victory, nonetheless. And man, I am full on stuff. Uh, crap. I guess I'll just stick this on people. Like, let's see. This is bleed resist. Nice one, crit. Let's put it on you, I guess. No, wait. You? No, you've got a like really high crit chance. You got ten percent crit chance. Uh, what's who has got who's got lower bleed resistance? Twenty. He's got forty, so I'll put it on him. Doesn't really need the bleed resist anyway. And da -da -da -da. He's not using this, though. Whatever. Oh, that's fine with me. It was only a bust. Ah, lovely. Lovely. And he's in the front. Ow. A second crit? About to break. He has to be all the way in the front to do anything. I can't believe I had to spend this much... Oh god, he's dead. This is not good. Injury and despondence. Set the stage Ow. Poor cowardice. This is fucking absurd. That many crits is not something that should be happening all the time. On the bright side, I can at least heal with this guy if he doesn't die. Oh, thank God. Okay, so, um... Are you fucking me? Heal yourself. Good. You know, you don't die. Fuck you. You shitting me. Fuck. Feeding the evil therein. Couldn't hold up. God fucking. I can't use Damon's pull anymore. Can't. No, because there's no targets. That's fine. Then. This is terrible already. Now, I spent money on that guy, too. I mean, it was mostly because, god damn, that many crits in a row. Fuck. Shit. This is awful. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Thanks. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. Are we good?
Okay, good. It was an empty room. I guess I can still try and face off against the Necromancer's Apprentice, but this is not looking great so far. Um, these are almost definitely fights. I gotta rest up. Gathered close in tenuous firelight and uneasy companionship. Mm, quarantine. Reduce stress, but he takes damage. Reduce stress, stress. Uh, reduces torchlight, heals, heals, and heals. So I'm gonna do this. Um. Heal her. So I'm gonna have her move. She's mostly stressed, it looks like, so I'll pep talk her. Actually, that was stress resist. Oh my. That's everything. Uh, let's go. Oh, he actually takes off his mask. What? Are you shitting me? <sighs> Fuck. Well, you know what? I can still take all you fucking on with just that guy. And you've got a 50% crit? Perfect. Well, less perfect, but still okay. Such a cannot be left unanswered. Oh, great. So what now? And... Hopeless. Great! That means she's going to be impossible to no heal. Hell. No hope at all. <sighs> okay. Okay. Fucking I knew it! What does that have to do with anything? Come on. Work with me here. Three. Whatever. You're not at death's door anymore. Sure. The light. The promise of safety. Fuck me. 